Hello everyone, today I'm releasing my completed and improved Demon Hunter UI and Week Auras that covers both Avengers Demon Hunter and Havoc Demon Hunter specs. All my user interfaces are entirely free, so you can proceed to download them via the links in the description below. In the links in the description, I will also include two videos. The first video is a basic guide on how you can install my UI and more importantly, customize the UI to track your own trinkets, spells and other advanced logic. The second video is a 90 minute long VOD showing you how I built an entire UI from scratch together with Twitch chat using the Windwalker as an example. All these revamped weak auras are also now foreign language compatible so it works even if you're not playing the English version of the game and with that out of the way let me talk you through the components of my UI for each spec so you know exactly how they function after you import them into your very own game. Let's first start with the Avengers Demon Hunter. Let's talk about the first row of icons. The top row tracks your rotational abilities, which is the bread and butter of the buttons you will press. Naturally, when the abilities are on cooldown, the icons will be desaturated and greyed out. The core abilities here include Fracture, Immolation Aura, Fell Devastation, Sigil of Flame, and your Covenant ability. I specifically configured it such that your Covenant ability in the UI will change depending on which Covenant you are in. And I finished the role by tracking a unused trinket, but you can easily configure this trinket to be one of your own or to swap it out for another ability. My how to install video in the description will help you customize it. The second row tracks my defensives and my utilities as a tank. Starting with the icons from the left, it tracks Fiery Brand, Meta, Last Resort, which is basically your cheat death. When your cheat death is on cooldown, this icon will be desaturated and show a cooldown on Last Resort. The rest of the row then tracks your utilities, Consume Magic, Disrupt, Sigil of Chain, Sigil of Misery, Sigil of Silence, as well as your mobility ability, in the form of Infernal Strike. Moving on to the elements above the icons, you will see a big white digit in the middle that represents your Fury as a class resource. Accompanying it is the purple horizontal bar that represents the amount of Fury in a visual form. You will also see two horizontal yellow bars that represent your Demon Spike charges. These bars will recharge as you consume your two charges of Demon Spikes. Above the Fury bar, you will see a buff bar. This tracks your various Vengeance Demon Hunter defensives such as Demon Spikes, Metamorphosis uptime, Fiery Brand uptime on the current mob, as well as various other externals your healers might use on you. That concludes the Vengeance Demon Hunter. Let's talk about the Havoc Demon Hunter next. For the Havoc Demon Hunter, covering the icons first, you'll see the first row contains your rotational abilities, Blade Dance, Immolation Aura, I Beam, your Covenant abilities, Meta, and even talents like Glaive Tempest. For Covenant abilities here, depending on which Covenant you are, the icon will track the respective abilities without you having to make any edits. As always, your spells, when they're not usable, they'll be greyed out and desaturated with a timer ticking down to represent its cooldown. The rotational roll does not track abilities without any cooldowns, as you're able to use them without restrictions anyway. The second row tracks your defensives and other utilities, including Blur, Darkness, Netherwalk, Imprison, your Ratio, Chaos Nova, Fell Eruption, Taunt, and Ventral Retreat. Moving to the top, you'll see a horizontal purple bar that represents your Fury as your class resource. You will also see two yellow horizontal bars that represents your two charges of Fell Rush. As a Havoc Demon Hunter, you should be tracking these Fell Rush charges in order to min-max your mobility to your advantage when putting out damage. Beyond that, you will see a buff bar that tracks various offensive buffs and cooldowns, as well as your defensives. This includes your Metamorphosis Uptime, Immolation Aura, Furious Gaze, Blur, Darkness, and Netherwalk. And that essentially is the Havoc Demon Hunter package. And that my friend sums up the walkthrough of my UI for the two specs of the Demon Hunter in the Shadowlands. You can find a step-by-step -step video install guide in the description below that covers how to install the UI in three simple steps as well as some answers to some FAQ, including how to track your own abilities, trinkets, how to move the weak auras and scale them, amongst other questions. My website where you download the UIs also have detailed instructions on how to install them. All feedback and questions are welcome. For feedback, definitely drop them in my Discord community and I will update the week or us over time to address bug fixes and errors. If you have questions about the UI, feel free to pop by my live stream. I stream most days of the week. My Twitch handle is in the description below. Happy to answer your questions live. 
If this video is helpful to you, do subscribe to my channel. I publish daily Shadowlands videos and I'll be releasing class week or us for all the other classes in World of Warcraft. Lastly, a big thank you to my Patreon subscribers for their support and creation of these UIs and week or us. You folks make it possible for me to build and maintain the UIs for all the classes out there. And a big thank you to you for supporting the video. Take care and enjoy the user interface.